give him the glory, we have to give him the honor, and we must give God what's due him. And all he wants is our worship. He adores our worship. Yes. So we come this morning to worship God. To worship God, we first give honor to God who's the head of our life, and to our elder Kennard, and to our pastor for today, our preacher for today, Pastor Robert Wilson. Amen. Praise God. And to Elder Phyllis Davis in her absence, and, and to Lily Dobbs, and to our Deacon Calvin Jenkins in his absence, and to our trusty Ardell Haley. And all of you, Amen. all of God's children, you, 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 you. And even those out on Facebook live stream, God is good. God loves you. So wherever you're at this morning, just be grateful. Be grateful. And Psalms 34, 1 to 3 says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. At all times, my soul, my soul, my soul, my soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. We serve a risen God. We serve a Savior that is so, so good. And whenever I wake up, I just got to tell him, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Just got to give him some glory. Just got to give him some honor. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Praise God.
serve an awesome God. Awesome God. So as we continue on with our worship this morning, and we all know that today is Youth Sunday. Hallelujah. Praise God. So I just want each and every one of us to get with our young people yeah. and encourage them. Because it's the young people who's going to live on. When we leave here, if we don't leave no young people who know some church, church going to die. And God promised that the church wouldn't die. So we got to honor our children this morning. Yeah. Honor yes. them this morning. Because they didn't have to be here. So we give them glory this morning, God. We thank you for each and every one of them. And as they come, just pray with them. Just pray with them. And we're going to have our scripture reading by our Sydney Adam Hayes. Matthew 19, 13 to 14, followed by our prayer of invocation. I was Kalia Thompson and our hymn of praise, glory to his name, down at the cross, intercessory prayer by Vanessa Francis, followed by our praise and worship team in that order. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Matthew 19, 13, and 14. Jesus blesses the children. Number 13. The people brought little children to Jesus for him to place his hands on them and pray for them. But this... This the, the tight prince rebuked them. Jesus said, "Let the little children come to me. Don't and don't not heart, heart, hinder them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these." Amen. Amen. Good morning, church. Um, I will be doing the prayer, so bow your heads and close. No, bow your heads and close your eyes. Father God, in the name of Jesus, thank you for waking us up this morning, oh God. Thank you for allowing us to come into your house so we could worship you. Thank you for all the people who are who are on their way or watching on Facebook Live. Thank you for helping us when we didn't know we needed to be helped. Thank you for healing us when we didn't know we needed to be healed. Thank you for allowing us to get to the third Sunday in April. Even though there might have been some trials and tribulations, we know that as long as we have you, everything is going to be okay. Bless the preacher today as he brings forth the word and cover everyone under the sound of my voice. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. amen.
Glory to his name. Hallelujah. church. May everyone please bow their head. Lord, I come to you calling on you to lift up everyone listening to me, including me, God. You love your children like no one ever will or could. Ignite within us all holy passion and fire that cannot be crimped. Draw us closer to you with an everlasting love and hope that cannot be shaken. May the light of your truth bring us to your saving knowledge of your son, Jesus. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen. All right. God bless you. Bless you. Hallelujah. 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 It's worship and praise time. Anybody want to praise God today? Yes. Anybody want to give him glory today? I don't know about you. I'm so excited about God's work. Hallelujah. I love to praise him. I love to praise his name. I love to praise
to your left, look to your right. Somebody Hallelujah. didn't get up this morning. You're here, you need to praise him. Hallelujah. When I speak of the goodness of God yes. and everything he's done for me, I got to Hallelujah. praise him. When I think how he brought me through, yes. I got to praise him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You don't sleep on this. Come on and praise.
I just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I thank you, Jesus, this morning. You know, I just got to tell you one thing. Some 30 years ago, I didn't even want to be here no more. And I wondered every day why God left me here. But I thank God. 31 years later, I'm still here. He had a purpose. So when I hear songs like, thank you, Lord, it brings tears to my eyes. Not tears of sorrow, but tears of joy. Because no matter what you go through in your lifetime, never think that we don't serve a God who sits high and he looks low and he knows all about your struggles and he knows and he's with you in the valley and that's where you grow in the valley so I thank God for the years that I spent in the valley because you know why God was with me in the valley he's with you on the mountaintop and he'll stand with you while you in the valley so when I got on that phone the other day and applied for Medicare and Social Security, I said, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Because I didn't have to be here if it was left up to me. But we serve a God who has a plan. And his plan is so much, so much better than yours. So I tell anybody here today, especially our young people, wait on God. I don't care what's going on in your life. I don't care what you think is wrong. Trust God. Just hold on. Hold on. Because one day, God's going to make it all. He's going to make it all right. He's going to make it all right. He's going to make it all right. So I thank you, Lord, for making it all right. All right for me to be here today. God, you're good. God, I thank you this morning. I thank you this morning. I thank him so much from the bottom of my heart. God, I love you today. And I know you love me. Because if you didn't love me, I wouldn't be here. So I say to all of you, God loves you more than life itself. And if you just accept that love that God has for you, the joy you'll find. Not the joy that the world gives you, but the joy Jesus gives you. Because the world will take everything you got. But one person, as long as you got King Jesus, you'll be all right. And now we're going to get ready to call on our brother Darren Humphreys and he'll do our welcome address. And then we'll have our ministry and song. And then we'll come back with a greeting from our deacon, Kelvin Jenkins. In his absence, he has a greeting for us anyway. Hello, all. And good morning. My name is Darian Humphreys. Um, can I have all our visitors please stand? <laughs> First, um, First, I'd like to say uh, thank you for coming to my church. And I also want you to know that Jesus and a lot of love is present here in this church. Amen. You may be seated. We have a very special way of welcoming you. Can all the church members please stand? Amen. Sing our favorite song. We welcome you.
Good morning, Merrick Park. Morning. I thank God for another opportunity to come into his gates to lift up his holy and matchless name. He's worthy of all the glory, honor, and praise, and we lift him up and we glorify him. Yes. We thank him for life, we thank him for health, and we thank him for strength. For by, it's by no other means that we can live, move, and have our being. Amen. To my good friend, Pastor Robin Wilson, the pastor of the Trinity Baptist Church of Bayside, who will be bringing forth the word of God today Amen. to Elder Phyllis Davis, Amen. Elder Wanda Kennard, Minister Orgy Thompson, our trusty chairperson, Sister Ardell Haley, Amen. and of course to Minister Dobbs, we have a praise report. She's home recuperating fine, Amen. and God is restoring her. We keep her in our prayers, and we lift her up, and we thank God for her life. This week begins our leadership intensive training series. It'll start on next Sunday morning at 8.30 a.m. These courses will be conducted by Overseer Robert Nelson, and they are mandatory for all of our Merrick Park leadership, all auxiliary leaders. But they are also open to any aspiring leader or member. So please see any trustee this morning to get your pre-registration form. That's for our Leadership Intensive Training Series, which will begin on next Sunday morning at 8.30 a.m. Please keep Deacon Robert Moses in prayer. Amen. Also, Deacon Joe Adams, Mother Delaney, Mother Van Hughes, Mother Baker, Mother Juanita McPhail, Deacon Daddy Hines, yes. and his beautiful wife, Mother Ira Elmore, and Mother Annette Corbin. We will be celebrating and consecrating new mothers to our Mother's Board on Mother's Day this year, which is the second Sunday in May. Our leadership has designated a few more women who have walked worthy in that vocation, Amen. and we will bestow upon them this glorious honor. So stay tuned. It just may be you. Today, our youth department will be having a cake sale to support our scholarship and graduate committee. So please stay a few moments and support them. We will also hold a plate during our offering today in order to provide you with more opportunities to give towards that scholarship. Please also see Deacon Rochelle Mask to give her the names of any students who may be uh, graduating or commencing this June. All right, so give uh, Deacon Mask, she has a form for you to fill out for any students who are graduating or moving up. My prayer is that God will continue to keep us during this season as we seek the shepherd of this branch of Zion. Merritt Park, we are a strong church and God truly has his mighty hands on us. So let's keep working together to build this branch of Zion. May God bless you and may heaven smile upon you. off of Deacon Kelvin um, Jenkins. Um, the shoe size rally is still on. Um, we should be ending the end of this month. If you have not had the opportunity to give, please see any of the deacons following this morning service or even next week. And those that don't know what it is or don't remember what it is, is you're donating you the size shoe. Whatever size shoe you wear, you wear you wear two shoes, so you're gonna double it. So if you wear size eight, you're gonna give sixteen dollars. Oh, you might as well round it up to twenty dollars. And you may say, Deacon Mass, what is it going to? It's going towards our church. Anything that we may need in our church is gonna help our church. Okay, so think about you know our our, our pews need to be clean. Our lights need to be run. The water is running. You know, you go to the restroom, the water is running. So anything that we may need in our church, that's what the funds is going for. So if you haven't given yet, please think in your heart to give towards the Shoe Size Rally. Thank you very much. Amen. Good morning, everybody. It's you Sunday. Um, did y'all see these babies out here taking yeah. over the church? I love it! <laughs> okay, I just wanted to say that on next month, every month we try to do something different with the babies, with the kids. And on next month, what we want to do is we want to acknowledge them for sports and academics. So if you can call me or call Sister Karen and just let us know how they're doing in school 
or if they're playing any sports, we want to have them come up and honor them and give them awards and just make them feel proud of themselves Amen. as we are of them. So please this week, try to get, or this week or next week, try to get us the names of the children so we can honor them. If you know children that need to be honored and would like to come on Youth Sunday so they can up receive their award, they don't have to be members, that would be great too. So um, I greatly appreciate you all and just keep supporting our children. Go at the bake sale. Praise God. Y'all was working them knees this morning, but it's all right. <laughs> it's all right. God is good. Our young people were excellent. They was excellent. They was excellent. Each and every one of them. They, you know, we have a great bunch of young people, and they have a lot of enthusiasm. So we want to keep their enthusiasm going, and we just want to continue to honor them to honor them. And I have one small announcement, well, big announcement. Sunday school will be back on Zoom today. We want to see your faces when you give your answers. So we'll be on Zoom with our sister, Avis Butler, at 3.30 p.m., okay? We're going to have another song and uh, ministry and song. And then we'll come back with our preacher for this morning, our Pastor Robert Wilson of the Trinity Baptist Church of Bayside. And when he gets up, let's just greet him with a holly amen. And let's, let's sit and hear the word. And I pray that something that the preacher says stays with you for the rest of this week. And when you get into some little situation, you'll be reminded that the God that we serve, amen.
Church, say amen. Come on, let's bless God for these babies. Come on, let's bless God for the children. Hallelujah. What a blessing to the body of Christ. And we thank God for their willingness to serve on today. Come on, let's bless God for them one more time. Now come on, clap those hands and give God praise in the house. Amen. We, we greet you with Jesus' joy in our hearts. For this is the day that the Lord has made. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. What a blessing to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. Come on, give God praise one more time, if you will. Amen. You may be seated in his presence. I am so glad and excited to be here today, and particularly on this Youth uh, Sunday, uh, because it reminds me of my beginnings. Amen. Amen. And for y'all that don't know, uh, my affiliation with Merrick Park goes back to my childhood. I, I'm born and raised in Mount Pisco Baptist Church. I've been coming to Merrick Park since I was that age. Amen. In fact, Pastor Norton sent Pastor Murray to Mount Pisco. Amen. And I got my start there. I always tell this testimony uh, that on Easter Sunday, 1973, um, my mother didn't take me to church. Our next door neighbor took me and my brothers and sisters to Mount Pisgah in 1973, our first time there, Easter Sunday morning. And somehow, and many of you who have been around, y'all know uh, Deacon Morris Mariner, who was the director of music. Somehow Deacon Mariner thought I was one of the children in the choir. And my first time there, he pushed me in the choir, and I was on the front row. Didn't know air song. <laughs> Didn't know what I was doing. But I've been in church ever since. Became one of the lead soloists at that age. And then the organist and minister of music for the church. Every time Mount Pisgah came to Merrick Park, I was here. Amen. 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 And, and so, hello, family. <laughs> Amen. What a blessing to be here on this Youth Sunday. It just brings joy uh, to my heart. Amen. And I thank God also for my youngest son on the organ. That's my son there. Brandon, that's my son. Amen. I also have my grandson with me today. That's Robert the Fourth. Amen. A tremendous musician in his own right. Amen. Amen. And I just believe in sharing the gifts of the Lord within our family. And if you come up in my house, you're going to play something. <laughs> we were just here uh, last week, the week before on Saturday for your brunch with our jazz band. Amen. And we had a, a great time in the Lord. And so we greet you again in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to the clergy of the house today. Come on, let's bless God for them. To our worship leader, let's bless God for her today. In the absence of my good friend and my brother, uh, Deacon Kelvin Jenkins, Amen. We both came up the same way, playing the organ in church, and we've known each other since our teenage years. Amen. 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 And so we're just glad to be here to worship with you on this, the Lord's day. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord. God of mercy. God of grace. Rain on us. Speak to our hearts, our souls, our minds. Those things that you would have us to know and live. We pray now, God, that as I decrease and you increase in me. Lord, that you would endow us with power from on high. 
that we might receive what it is you are speaking today. We thank you, God, that as a result of this word, you are edified. You are glorified. Your people are edified. And the devil is horrified. We ask it all in the matchless and mighty name of Jesus the Christ. And all of God's people said amen. 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 For your consideration today, I want to go to the prophetic book of Isaiah. Isaiah. Chapter 40. Verses 28 through 31. Amen. Isaiah chapter 40. Verses 28 through 31. And it reads on this wise. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The everlasting God. The Lord. The creator of the ends of the earth neither faints nor is weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the weak and to those who have no might he increases strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary. And the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. The word of God for the people of God. You may be seated in his presence. Life has its share of ups and downs. Good days and bad days. Sunshine and rain. We have all discovered and learned even through our own experiences that there are just some things that we have to go through. Yeah, there are some things that we just have to go through. Yes, beloved, like the Apostle Paul, we might have a thorn in our flesh. We might even pray for God to remove it. And even if he doesn't, God lets us know that his grace, Lord have mercy, is sufficient for us. And the truth is, beloved, and if we're honest, the things that we go through don't always feel good. Yes, we may even get mad with God, may get upset. But we, we go through it and grow through it. You can learn how to live with it. Learn how to deal with it. Brings new understanding to what the psalmist David said. And I heard it already today in Psalm 23 verse 4. Yea, though I walk through the valley. The shadow of death I will fear. No evil, for thou art with me. Uh, Beloved, the valley experience is our temporary journey. But it was never meant or designed to be our final destination. And so watch this, y'all. The valley is part of the process. And I want to talk for a few minutes today from this thought. Do not despise God's process. Do not despise God's process. Now this is a familiar text 
And as familiar as we are with this particular text, there are three things, three things, three points that the Holy Spirit has given me to share with you, three things that the Holy Spirit has illuminated. And there are some things, beloved, about going through the process that we may not understand while we're going through it. But we still have to trust in the Lord. I said we have to trust in the Lord. Listen y'all with all our heart. And lean not to our own understanding. Can we talk today? Listen the first point. The first point I want you to hold on to is this. The first point is this. Get ready for the turn up. All right, let me, let me try this side over here. Get ready for the turn up. Listen, now, uh, in the natural realm and our younger generation, mm -hmm, in modern day vernacular, mm -hmm, we all understand what it means to turn up. Can I get a witness here? We, we know what it means if, if we don't know how to do anything else, y'all. We, we know how to turn up. Y'all talk to me here. In fact, some of us are suffering today as a result of our turning up yesterday. Yeah, if, if we would be honest and transparent, we would admit that at one time or another, we were the king or the queen of the turn up. Couldn't nobody turn up like we could. We were, yeah, the life of the party. Yeah, the party didn't start till we got there and didn't end till we left. Uh -huh. and, and we partook and indulged in various things and libations that assisted us in our efforts to have a good time, let our hair down, party like rock stars. Nobody could turn up like we could turn up. Can I get a witness here? If I can't get a witness, just wink at me. Don't, don't tell all your business. Just wink at me. I see you. But watch this, y'all. We, we thought we were doing something. We thought we knew how to turn up. My question is, what happens when God turns up? I'm not talking about Jesus miraculously turning water into wine to keep the party going at the wedding of Canaan. I'm talking about what it says right here in the text. What happens when God turns up? Watch this. Verse 29 of the text says, he gives power to the weak. And to them that have no might, he increases strength. Y'all catch it. He increases strength. That's, that's how God turns up. That's God's turn up. That, that's the real turn up. When we are weak and when we have no might and when we've done all that we can do, when we have nothing left in the tank, God turns up and increases our strength. At the exact time when we need it the most, God turns up his strength in us and his strength is made perfect in our weakness. And when God turns up, the good news is, y'all, there is no hangover. I said when God turns up the next day, we still remember his goodness to us and how he brought us through. Thank God for the turn up. Thank God that when I am weak he increases my strength and when I look back over my life and when I think things over I can truly say that I've been blessed because I have a turn up testimony. Look at your neighbor and said, look out for God's turn up. I don't know what you're going through, but God's going to show up and turn up in your situation. 
Second thing I want you to see right here in the text. Y'all watch this. Fainting, growing weary, and falling is part of the process. Lord have mercy. Fainting, growing weary, and falling is part of the process. So don't judge me when I faint. Come on in the room. Don't judge me when I grow weary. Don't don't judge me when I fall. You want to know what I've learned? I've learned that while you are in your process, people forget their own process that they had to go through. And then they have the nerve, the unmitigated gall to look down on you because of what you are going through. The text says in verse 30, even the youth shall faint and be weary and the young men shall utterly fall. And although it mentions two individual groups, youth and young men, the truth of the matter is that it's all encompassing. It includes everyone, the young and the old, men, women, boys and girls, all of mankind. We are all subject to fainting, growing weary, and falling. From the pastor to the pew member, from the deacon to the sneaking and the creeping, from the saint to the ain't, everyone is susceptible to sin, slipping and sliding, falling and faltering, making mistakes, saying and doing things that they should not say and do. No one is exempt from the trials and the tribulations of this world. The problem is that some church folk have spiritual amnesia. They forget where they come from. Yeah. They forget what they've done. They, they, they forget where they, how they have fallen short of the glory of God. And it's funny how people are so sympathetic and tolerant of trials and tribulations and sins that they can identify with. But they become critically judgmental of those sins in areas when they, that they have not sinned. Trying to get you to understand the danger of being so heavenly minded that you're no earthly good. In fact, the Bible says in Luke 6.37, and I like the message translation of this text, Luke 6.37, it says, don't pick on people. Jump on their failures. Criticize their faults. Unless, of course, you want the same treatment. It says don't condemn those who are down because that hardness can boomerang. <laughs> That's the message Bible, y'all. So don't judge me. Don't look down on me. Don't look down at any, on anyone, man, woman, boy, or girl. But learn how to look at the man or woman in the mirror. Because we all fall down. But we get up, y'all. A saint is just a sinner. (laughs) Who falls down and gets back up again. And then, beloved, number three, and I'm out of here. Third point. The Spirit has revealed to me in this very familiar text. Is this y'all? Do what the word says. Yes. Lord have mercy. Yes. Do what the word says. After revealing some of the things that we have to endure. Mm. While we're going through the process, Merrick Park. Yes. God gives us some decisive and deliberate instructions. He gives us some decisive and deliberate admonishments. While you are going through the process, look at 
what verse 31 of the text says. But they that wait (laughs) upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Do what it says, y'all. If you wait on the Lord, your strength will be renewed. Do what it says, y'all. When your strength is renewed, you can mount up with wings like eagles. Do what it says, y'all. You can run and not be weary. Do what it says, y'all. You can walk and not faint. And this, beloved, confirms what I told you a few minutes ago, that this word is all-encompassing. This word is for everybody. Look what the prophet Isaiah says under the unction of the Holy Spirit. And I love it, y'all. He makes it so that nobody is left out. I said he makes it so that nobody Nobody. is left out. Because if you're not strong enough to fly, then you can run. (laughs) If you don't have the energy to run, then you can walk. walk. But no matter how you get there, get get there if you can. And the Lord will renew your strength. All you have to do is do what the Lord says. Because he promised never to leave you nor forsake you. Can I get a witness here? He will be with you. As I come to my close, yeah, just like you had to go through and grow through what you had to go through and grow through, you're not by yourself. I also had to go through and grow through, but one thing I've learned is you cannot despise God's process because of God's process I'm stronger because of God's process I'm better because of God's process I'm wiser because the Lord has his hands on me is there anybody here today the Lord still has his hand on you hallelujah he's with you because he is Emmanuel God with us he's with you because he's Jehovah Shabbat which means the Lord is there and I'm so glad yes that everywhere I go he's with me can I get a witness here the Bible says in Psalm 139 where can I go from your spirit where can I flee from your presence if I ascend to heaven behold you are there if I make my bed in hell oh, you are there if I fly to the uttermost parts of the world even there your spirit will hold me can I get a witness here every step of the process I come to encourage you Mary Park every step of the process the Lord 
has promised to be there with him. The old songwriter said, be not dismayed. One of the midnight, God will take care of you. Look at your neighbor and tell the neighbor, God will take care of you. Now if you believe it, come on, clap your hands. Don't despise the process. Because in the process, Mary Park is getting stronger. In the process, Mary Park is getting better. In the process, Mary Park is getting wiser. So you ought to give God praise. You ought to give God glory. Because he's working it out for your good. Look at your neighbor and tell the neighbor he's working it out for your good. Take that away. No. Take that away. Christian experience. 
Doesn't matter how you get there, just get there. Always Here's the one today. like this. Lord, the Lord, Lord will protect us concerning me. Oh, sooner or later, it's all a work in your favor. Turn it around. Turn it around. Oh, yeah. Come on, clap your hands. Yeah, one more yeah, time. yeah. Oh, it won't. It'll always be like this. The Lord, the Lord will perfect that concern in me. Praise God. You believe that church, sooner or later, is turning around. Turning around for me. My God. Thank you, preacher. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you. Church, we're going to get ready to have our altar prayer. And after a sermon like that, he preached to us this morning, y'all. He preached to us today. I don't know about you, but if you needed a word from God and you didn't get it this morning, it's because you didn't want it. Because he gave us everything he needed. Sooner or later, sooner or later, God's turning around. Yes. Sooner or later, it's going to work in your favor. Sooner or later, it's going to work in your favor. Sooner or later, it's going to work in your favor. It's turning around for me. So if you want prayer this morning, maybe you need something to turn around in your life, come to the altar. God just wants to know your heart. He already knows. But he'll turn it around for you. God's turning it around right now. You made the first step this morning. You got up. You came to church, to God's house. So if you need something turned around this morning, I behoove you to just give it to God. Turn it around. Just turn it around for you. Thank you, God. Just turn it around for me. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. It's turning around for me. Sooner or later, it's gonna work, Listen. gonna work. Oh. Listen, y'all. It's turning around. I just want to reinforce the, import the importance of the altar prayer. Yes. Can I do that, y'all? Yes. Do you not realize that every place in the Old Testament? That they came to the altar. They didn't come to get. They came bringing. Whatever sacrifice they had. They didn't come to the altar. To get. They came bringing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We don't have to bring. Those sacrifices anymore turtle doves. We don't, we, we don't have to bring rams and bullocks to the altar anymore. So what is it that we can bring 
to God's altar. Here it is. We can bring the sacrifice of praise. Whatever is going on in your heart, whatever is going on in your life, if you approach this altar already praising God even before you pray, God will honor your sacrifice. So I need everybody who believes God today while on your way to the altar. Start praising him already. <laughs> I said on your on your way to the altar. Start telling God thank you. Like you believe him. On your way to the altar, praise him in advance. For your children, for your family, for your loved ones. Offer up that sacrifice. Hallelujah. That sacrifice of yeah, prayer. God honors my God. your sacrifice. My God. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, I dare you to start clapping your hands. <laughs> I dare you to start telling God, thank you. Thank you, Lord. You know what I have need of even before I ask you. But I'm not going to wait till you give it to me. I'm going to praise you in advance. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we come now. We've got gathered at your altar. With expectation today. We come, God, expecting our miracle. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We come expecting our breakthrough. Yes. We come expecting our healing. Yes. Not because of anything that we've done, but simply because of who you are and what you have promised. Yes. Thank you. In fact, God, we come bringing our sacrifice of praise. Now we don't have anything left to give but our praise. So God, we thank you for every answered prayer. We thank you for every petition, God, that you have granted in the name of Jesus. We're not going to wait until the battle is over, but we're going to shout now. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Our homes, our families, our children, our loved ones, our spouses, our health situation, our finance, our church. God, we come thanking you in advance because we know you're turning it around for us. We know that while we're trying to figure it out, you're already working it out. Hey, in the name of Jesus, I said you are. And for this, we give you praise. We leave out of this place stronger, wiser, and better. We leave out of this place not despising the process, but everything you've allowed us to go through. It's for your glory. For your glory. I will do anything. For your glory. So God have your way in this place. And we'll be ever so careful. To continue to praise you. With our whole heart. Now if you believe God shall thank God. Thank God. Amen. Now clap your hands like you know you got it. Oh. Hallelujah. 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 Later. Sooner or later. 
you but I feel good sooner or later don't know when don't know where don't know how but sooner or later it's going to work in your favor just keep trusting God and don't faint and if you do faint remember there's a God that will pick you up and he's gonna turn you around. Turn it around. I can't stop turning it around. Turn it around. My God is gonna turn it around. He's gonna turn it around, church. Turn it around. Turn it around. Sooner or later. Sooner. Sooner or later. It's gonna work in your favor. He's turning. Yes, God. Turn it around, God. Turn it around. I'm trying. I'm trying. Turn it around. He's turning it around. It won't always. It won't always. It won't always. It won't always. Yes. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Always. Turn it around. Jesus. Hallelujah. She's praising the Lord, saints. We got a lot to be thankful for. Hallelujah. 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 Whew. We don't want to rush time, but we are preparing ourselves for our tithes and our offering at this time. Yes, Lord. God will turn it around. offering and remember to do your best and thank you. Good morning church. As you walk around also pick up your registration for your classes for leadership classes. Amen. And the plates on the side is for our pastor of the hour. 
He did an f- awesome job. Oh my God, he's turning around. Okay, and the, as you know, the baskets is for your tithes and offering and any other obligations you might have. Amen. Amen. Before you come, we're going to pray over the offering, tithes, and our offering. Lord God, we thank you, God. We thank you for those that are preparing, God, now and has to come to give their tithes and their offering, oh God. We pray, oh God, that you give it back to them a hundredfold. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. And also, in addition, we have um, Deacon Mass was also holding the plate for the graduate fund. Amen. amen. Just drop a seed in here. You got $5, you got $10, whatever. Let's drop a seed. God is so awesome, and he's just doing great things in our lives. And like Minister Thompson was getting so happy, watch him just turn it around. Turn it around. You you may see doom and bloom, but God is going to turn it around. God's going to fix it. Hallelujah. God is going to fix it. Just plant a seed and watch it go. Watch things change in your life. Watch things change in your children's lives. Watch things change in your neighbor's life. Watch things change in the hospitals, in our nation, in our community. God is awesome.
thank God for his power and his presence. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I feel like I'm at home here. Not only because of our longtime connection. I was just sitting there thinking that there is a choir, a choir robe I own that was not made by Sister Joshua. Yes, yes. Every choir robe I've ever owned in my entire musical career in the church came from Sister Joshua. Amen. What a blessing to be here on today to encourage this church family and these young people. Can we give it up for our young people one more time? They are not the church of tomorrow. They are the church of today. Because the enemy is not waiting until tomorrow to try to sift them like we. He's after them today. So they have to be the church of today. And here it is, y'all. We have to let them be young people. Amen. 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 Listen, I've, I've come up in the traditional Baptist church, and tradition has its place. But when it comes to these young people, they're in a different place. Amen. Ministry principles never change, yes, yes, yes. but how they are applied changes all the time. And we don't do it to keep up with the world because we're a step ahead of the world. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? So let these young people be young people. Amen. Amen. When you do that, your church will grow. Amen. Your church will be filled with young people. Because quiet as it's kept, young people reach young people. You know, we came up with the time when the supervisors of the young people's choir and all that were all senior citizens. I love senior citizens, but you need young people over the young people. Amen. And since I fall in that category, Amen. So we certainly uh, bless and honor God for these young people. I just like to have a good time in the Lord. Amen. And I'm grateful at how the Lord uses us for his glory. Let's stand. Let us stand as we prepare to close this worship experience. And now unto him who was able to keep us from falling and present us faultless before his throne with exceeding great joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power now and forever. Let the church say amen. Amen. Let, Let the, the church, church say amen. God has spoken, let the church say amen, let the church Bless you. Go in peace.